Blessed be your holy name. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you praise, Lord, for answer to prayers. Thank you, Father, for answer to prayers, for wiping away tears, for granting testimonies, for your intervention. We are grateful. For your intervention, we are grateful. We are grateful. For your intervention, we are grateful. Blessed be your holy name. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Father, for what this service will deliver. Blessed be your holy name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. Today, after this prayer, the heavens open afresh for you. Amen. The heavens open afresh for your family. Amen. The heavens open afresh for your destiny. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. It is my new dawn era. What eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, shall be the order of the day in my life. Congratulations amen. and amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Open the heavens for my new dawn. I'm going to read three key scriptures before we continue. Deuteronomy 28, we we'll read verse 13 and verse 23. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. Amen. If thou shalt hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I commanded this day to observe and to do them. Verse 23 now. Verse 23. And thy heaven that is over thy head, shall be brass. Say, God forbid. And the earth that is under thee shall be iron. Say, God forbid. Now look at another scripture. Isaiah 64, verse 1. Isaiah 64, verse 1. Oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence. Matthew 13 and verse 25. But why men slept, his enemies came and so tars among the wheat and went his way. Praise God. No prophecy gets fulfilled until the heavens are opened. So the opening of the heaven is crucial to every prophecy that will come to pass in your life. Is there and the heavens over thy head, which means over every head you see now, there is a heaven. But the condition of the heaven can be closed. It can also be what? Open. We are going to look at the consequence or the effect of operating under a closed heaven. When the heavens are closed, it's not a palatable experience. So, 
So there is a space. There is an allocation to everyone in the heavens. That's why you must be concerned about the situation of your heavens. Why men slept? There is what we call evil visitors. When you sleep, they sow tears. They choke the heavens. Your enemy don't fight you when your eyes are red alert. They fight you when you are in your slumbering state. When the enemy wants to undo you, they don't come to you physically. They go to your heavens. And you know that is where scripture says God has blessed us with all manner of spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. So you must be particular about the condition of your open heavens. Because that is what determines your glory. That is what determines your progress. That is what determines your prosperity. That is what determines the total well-being of your destiny. That is what determines whether things will be possible for you or things will be impossible for you. So when the heavens are open, God tabernacles with you. If there is anything Jacob fought for, it's for the heavens to be open. He said, I see angels ascending and descending. They were ascending and descending. You hear me? One of the basic essence of fasting and prayer is not just to be getting money. It's not just to be buying car. It's not just to be building house. It's for the heavens to be open. When the heavens are open, you flourish wherever you are. Because in his presence, there is fullness of joy. God tabernacle with you. Things work for you. God manifests the fullness of his presence. Why? The heavens are open. No door can be shut against anyone that the heavens have opened for. No door. No door can be shut against any business that the heavens have opened for. You hear me? The business itself is you. Because without you, the heavens can't open for the business. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? That's why as we set and prepare our hearts for new dawn, how can you talk about new dawn when the heavens are not open? What guarantees new dawn is your open heaven? What makes new dawn a reality is your open heaven. So our principal task in this fasting and prayer is for the heavens over our head, over our family, over our destiny, over our career to be open. That's why the heavens can open for you in a city. In that same city, people are suffering. People are in hardship. People are going through torture. People are begging for food. In Egypt, there was scarcity, but there was a place called Goshen where the brothers of Joseph, they were enjoying food every day. So if the heavens are closed, one terrible experience is the powers of darkness. We turn your heavens to be brass. I mean, the earth will be brass for you and the heavens will be choked for you. But we are going to dislodge every evil visitors. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Why men slept? They come when you are prayerless. They come when you are prayer lukewarm. You are no longer interested in prayer. They come when your heart has been overtaken and choked by evil. 
Some people will be in church now, they are not fasting with us because their heart is already evil. I know I'm saying what I'm saying. When the heavens are, are closed against an individual, things don't move smoothly. They plant much, but they reap little. You are putting in more effort, but you are getting less return. Much effort, less return. So if your heaven must be open for you, you must be willing to cooperate with God. Hear me? God does not answer our prayers on our terms, but on his terms. Am I saying something? On his terms. When the heavens are closed, we are going to look at all of them before we rise up to pray. When the heavens are closed, your previous years are better than your present days. When I used to. When I used to. When I used to. When I used to. I used to be. I used to be. You already aspire. You are an aspired product. But scripture said that part of the joss is as a shining light. That shine brighter. If the heavens open before men, you must do everything you, you can to sustain the opening of the heavens. You must do everything. No wonder they say, By the rivers of Babylon, the we are down, and there we were. I remember Isaiah. Father, we can carry us away captivity. Then I can for us a song. How can we sing the lost song in a strange land? God forbid, Batting. I say, God forbid, Batting. Yeah. We remember Zion. Let me give you a classic example of someone that is in a close heaven. When we were praying before. This church, they shake now. <laughs> we are the ones that started prayer in this church. Aspire products. A classic example of someone that is in a close heaven. He will see others praying. He will say, they are not praying. They are not praying. When they size everybody up, they are the ones that are spiritual. Over carnality, they worry you. When the heavens are closed, Your prayer becomes noise before God. There is no feeling of the presence of God. There is no feeling of the presence of God. The heavens are already closed. That's why someone can be in church and be imagining evil next he will do. The heavens are closed against you. Instead of getting visitation of blessing, you get visitation of judgment when the heavens are closed. Another daring consequence of a closed heaven, when the heavens are closed, no new vision, no new idea, no new inspiration. All the thoughts and perception, next evil, next wickedness, next wicked thing to do. No vision. Because open heaven connects you to open vision. I will pour out my spirits. And your sons and your daughters shall dream dreams. And your old men shall have what? Vision. 
Day to day utter speech. Night unto night show it knowledge. God, God, God has withdrawn showing you things. Why? Because you are operating under a closed heaven. He has withdrawn showing you things. The only things you are seeing now is the things Satan is showing you. And hear me, you can't flourish in a new year. Much more in a new dumb prophetic year without an open heaven. Our lives, our destinies appreciate, flourish, make progress only when the heavens are open. That's why you must cry out in this prayer that whatever is blocking your open heaven, whether you caused it by your hand or forces are behind it, you must cry out to make sure that, it, that the veil is removed. And the veil is removed for you to go forward. When the heavens are closed, you wander like a wanderer. Why? Because there is no touch with the Spirit of God. Another devastating effect of a closed heaven, expectations are cut off. You look for much, but you get little in return. Your business suffers uh, shortage. Stubborn satanic forces overrun your business, overrun your career. Instead of getting light that will move you forward, you get darkness. One terrible thing about a closed heaven again is this. You always come in contact with wrong, wrong people. It's an evil network. I know that one very well. Once the heaven are closed against in an individual... He comes in contact with wrong, wrong people, with wrong, wrong initiative, with wrong, wrong motivations. Not motivation to do good, but inspiration to do evil. It's a sign that he, that person has been networked by another close heaven personality. When the heavens are closed, Laziness becomes the order of the day. Another daring consequence, you see yourself naked in the dream. If you see yourself naked in the dream, you need deliverance. Another consequence is cobweb attack. This one is not that you are sleeping. I remember one young man that met me in Refid. Every day, say with me every day. As he wakes up, cobweb attack. Cobweb attack. I didn't need to tell him to fast. I just and carried oil in my hand. Stamp on his face and began to speak in tongue. Because I knew that that one was a classic witchcraft attack. Classic witchcraft attack. And one of his major experiences, he was suffering hatred from people that, was, that were favoring him before. People that were favoring him before turned their backs against him. And he was going through pains and tortures. But he never knew that the signs were physical. Cobweb attack. What is the cure? Prayer remains one awesome platform that can bring about the opening of the heavens. The altar of prayer <laughs> is the altar of breakthrough. We don't only break through here, we break through in the heavenlies. He said, on this mountain, the Lord shall remove the veil and the covering cast that is spread over all people. The veil and the covering cast that is spread over all people and that is spread over all nations.
I remember the encounter Papa had in Kaduna. Tick out of darkness. I hope you know close heaven can be sponsored by wickedness. They can fight you. With all the impact in prayer and everything, Lord, what is making this church not to grow? I God said, follow me. He now showed him a thick cloud of darkness. He said, oh yeah, center your attack. And immediately he centered the attack. The forces were dislodged. Boom! The church exploded. I don't know any thick cloud of darkness that has been formed over your life, over your destiny. Today, it will be crushed. That amen is not sounding heavy. So every time we engage in fasting and prayer, for you to pray through, the heavens must be open. The heavens must be open. The heavens must be open. Over your family, the heavens must be open. If not, severe hardship. You've just been wondering what's really happening. Hardship. But once the heavens are open, favor locates you. The dew of heaven rests upon you. Once the heavens are open, dews of heaven rest upon you, upon you. So engaging in prayer and fasting steers up the release of not only fire, but his presence. What LED, O thou see that thou fled it. Thou Jordan that thou was driven back. You say, tremble thou at the presence of the Lord. At the presence of the God of Jacob. Once the heavens are open, your utterance changes. Hear me? Do you know with this mouth, say with me, this mouth, you can lock your heavens by saying wrong things. You can lock your heavens by saying wrong things. Papa said a closed mouth is a closed destiny, but you must be careful how you open the mouth. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Yes. Do you know why? I will send Aaron, your brother, to go with you. But I will also be with your mouth. I will be with you is different from I will be with your mouth. I will be with you is different from I will be with your mouth. Do you know why I say I will be with your mouth? So that you will not out of anger scatter what I want to do. Some people out of carelessness, out of careless talk, have sold away their destiny. I'm tired of this life. I'm just frustrated. Nothing is working. Say not before an angel is an error. Because as you say it, they make sure it happens for you. Do you know that your word, your own word, your very word, hurts you more than the enemy that you are pursuing? Because Jesus said, you shall have whatsoever you say. Not what your enemy says. I remember a woman that said that, uh, I'm sensing uh, they will attack me this night. Uh, she has invited the attack. So they attacked her very well. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? They attacked her very well. Instead of refuting the attack, instead of rejecting it, she called it in. So the thing entered. The enemy takes advantage of your word to walk against your heavens. Your words. It is my new door era. Which new door? They say my case is different. What's in different? This new door, I've not seen anything that was not done in. Is already killing the prophecy. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? As, as you are giving out wrong utterance, you are making sure that the heavens are closed. Don't forget, Jesus said, not pastor, 
whatsoever you bound here on earth is bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose here on earth is what? Say with me, my mouth no go put me for trouble. So you must be careful with your mouth. Your mouth can damage your chance. Your mouth also can pave a way for you. Scripture says hidden in the tongue is the power of life and death. He said, them that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So you can be speaking life. You can also be speaking death. You are enforcing your close heaven. You are enforcing your close heaven. A group of, uh, there's a set of uh, anointed fellows now. Their attack on Papa and Adeboye is on Facebook. I don't blame him because I know that witchcraft have taken over him and over the lady. She will be thinking that she's getting a, a followership. There are people you can't speak against. Whether you like it or not. They may, they may be your age mates, but they are never your grace mates. In just in 19, is he 96 or 86? Papa was preaching. A woman did like Angels baptize her with stone in her womb. The person that was preaching doesn't even know when the thing happened. She now went to another ministry. The man with prophetic grace spotted her and said, you have insulted a man of God until he prays for you. You may never recover. She was now wondering, which, which man of God? Which man of God? She now entered fasting and the Holy Ghost was now showing her the picture when she hissed. Don't stay under a pastor you cannot value. If not, you pack courses every of the service day. After the revelation, she now ran to go, I'm sorry. When you were doing it, didn't you have head? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Papa say, I'm forgiving you. Now you carry the stone. Who carried the stone? I hope you know prophets can unlock your heavens. Prophets can also close your heavens. Be careful. That's why anytime I look at Facebook, I say, I say hey, this person don't die. He don't kill himself. And the young girl, Mumu, heavy Mumu, when I mean heavy Mumu, heavy Mumu, The person you are speaking against have never collected your five cobo. He has not collected your land or has not packed your sand. The only job you have every working morning on Facebook, you are tearing Adeboye. You are tearing Papa, Bishop Oedeko. I pity that generation. A prophet said, by my word, there shall not be any rain. Until after three and, three and a half years. He said, we pray again and the heavens will open. Which means they can open the heavens. They can open the heavens. That's why I have discovered, after reading, following the footsteps of the prophet, people that don't have regard for the pastor that have oversight over them, they don't prosper in that church. Pastor can come and go. It's a wave. Everyone that comes is your opportunity. Each of them carry grace. There are many of you that was blessed and prospered when Pastor Ben was here. Two of us. He has finished his assignment. He's going. Another, another phase is starting. If you miss this phase, if I'm going to stay here two years or three years and you don't benefit, you better run for your life. I'm saying the truth to oh. I'm not threatening anybody. I'm just telling you the truth. 
a pastor was speaking against Pastor Jeme. I was coming, he just kept quiet. I said, now God save you now. I would have given him a physical slap, not a dream slap. When I mean physical, I mean physical. You can't insult the grace that has blessed me. So the heavens can be opened for you through the grace you value. Through the grace you value. I can recount the encounters I've gotten from Papa, Bishop Abioye, Pastor Jeme, Bishop Aremu, all of them. Pastor Ibiomi, Paul Enenche, Apostle Suleiman, I can recount all of them. One measure, another measure, another measure. They can connect you to your open heaven. They can. Because they have that grace. That's another devastating effect of a closed heaven. You can consciously walk yourself into a closed heaven. Consciously walk yourself into a closed heaven with this mouth. Why? Because <laughs> one destiny opens up another destiny. It's a mystery. I can't, I can't understand how God arranged it that way. But please, by all means, make sure the heavens open for you this year. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Make sure the heavens open for you this year. Make sure the heavens open for you this year. Don't give your tongue, your mouth. I remember the story my father told us those days in the village. He said a madman went to set the bush, the farmland, on fire. Our farm is like going from here to Obi. That's our village farm. He went and set the place on fire. So they now asked him, who set this fire that is burning everywhere? He said, I don't know. The one me I said, come back and show you. <laughs> he said, see this one here? Now me set this one. That's why when you they talk for that place, I don't know who said that one. <laughs> the meaning is this. When words go out of your mouth, you don't know how devastating it will eat you. He said, I don't know. The one that I said, see the one I said. This one you are talking about, I don't know anything about it. But you know how bush catch fire now. That's how it will be burning you and you are going, Mumu. But may you recover this night. If you are saying amen, say better, Amen. I won't call his name. There was one of our pastors. Insults Papa. His oil dry. You know, say oil they dry. Dry, dry, dry. The family, we, they were turned to paupers. They were virtually beggars. His own was very obvious. Papa had to tell him, resign and leave this place. There is nothing for you here. He used his mouth and closed his heaven. Rise up to your feet. You are not permitted to be under me in LFC Lafia and so far close heaven. God forbid, Barty. It will not work. I said it will not work. If it is a witch that is doing you, that winch will die now. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever has manipulated the closing of your heavens, maybe in 2017 or the previous year, 2018, the heavens over your head must be open. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Yes, Studio put the prayer. 
every evil visitor manipulating issues against my open heaven die by fire suffer not a winch to what lift up your voice and begin to pray every evil visitor manipulating issues against my open heaven by the authority and fire in the name of Jesus I command you to die in the name of Jesus every evil visitor dark powers manipulating issues against my open heaven I command you to expire I command you to die in the name of Jesus fire of God born utterly consume without reservation every evil visitor manipulating issues against my open heaven I speak for right now let them die in the name of Jesus whoever the evil visitor is whatever he represents by the fire of the Holy Ghost oh you evil visitor manipulating issues against my open heaven I prophesy against you die in the name of Jesus Every evil visitor manipulating issues against my open heaven die in the name of Jesus be roasted by fire be roasted by fire be roasted by the fire of the Holy Ghost be roasted by the fire of the Holy Ghost be roasted by the fire of the Holy Ghost evil visitor against my open heaven be roasted by fire be consumed by fire be roasted by fire be consumed by fire Legoro Shagada, El Lagrodilata, Legerege de Gozo, Janaga Gaga Rege, Jecota Reketopa, Leando, Leando Rebolata, El Laprica Tosiso Laga, Jeclopiraga Dagadagadaya, Lerianga Dagadaga Dagadagada, Rezonaga Raga Dega Dega Rega Dega De, El Zupla Rica Tosiandete. Be roasted by fire. Be roasted by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Evil visitors. Manipulating issues. Against my open heaven. Be roasted by fire. In the name of Jesus. Be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Be roasted by fire. In the name of Jesus. Be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Jekota pariga doze de Lera mbalabo jaga laga raga da Rezo zake preketeri yaga da gada ka Lezo golo brege da ju laga da gabra gada gada Lego logo brege da gada 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 Jeru gada 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 Jeru da gada 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 Lera ke doze do Thank you father In Jesus mighty name we pray Prayer to all heavens over my life, over my family, over my career, over my business, tear open by fire. <laughs> it must open. Oh. I say it must open. Amen. This year you are not permitted to struggle. Amen. Say a good amen. amen. So you are going to lift up your voice. 
oh heavens, over my life, over my family, over my career, over my business, tear open by fire. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Oh heavens, over my head, over my life, over my family, over my career, over my business, over my wife, over my children. Tear open by fire. Tear open by fire. In the name of Jesus. Tear open by fire. Lerando dono zuse negede. Ilakota rika tozi ande kate. Shekota katalikata. Pray the two satela. Oh heavens. Over my life. Over my destiny. Over my family. Over my business. Over my assignments. Tear open by fire. Tear open by fire. Tear open by fire. Tear open by fire. In the name of Jesus. Le shooter oros. I cato preclerus. E la proclicotesos isolago. Jekola caracatele di akadaga. Jekola caracatele ri ageda gadaga. Rezane cliqueteros iso. Jeko ga 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 Jeko ta ga 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 Rezo la ga ra ga de go re go te Oh heavens Tia opun Tia opun Over this assembly Tia opun by fire Oh heavens Over living for church last year Tia opun by fire In the name of Jesus Le randa la da ga da ga da Le randa ga la ga da ga da Le randa ga la ga da ga da E ro plaketos iso zia Oh heavens Over my family Over my wife Over my children Over my career Over my business Tear up my fire In the name of Jesus Le randa ga 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 Jego na ga ra ga da E rakle kute zuzo le ga da Berate Le rande ga la tuze zula E katori ya ga da ga da ga da ga Lere Godoros, Jego Laga Ragadas, Lego Ragadagadas, Le Brake to Zeziladas. Oh heavens, over my head, oh heavens, over my destiny, oh heavens, over my career, over my family. Tear open by fire, tear open by fire, tear open by fire, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. See I open by fire. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I remember the testimony of that woman that was selling Mama Put. When she said, when she carry and go, she will come back empty-handed. The children will be feasting on the food, no sales, more losses. She prayed this prayer. Oh heaven, arise. By the blood of Jesus, silence every opposition. Silence every troubler. Establish my breakthrough. When she engaged the heaven, the witchcraft powers were suspended. She started selling. Until she finished selling, nobody sells. You are going to pray. Prayer three. Oh heavens, arise. By the power of the blood of Jesus, silence every opposition, silence every troubler, and enforce my new dawn. Lift up your voice and begin to pray right now. Oh heavens, arise for me by the power of the blood of Jesus. Silence every opposition, silence every troubler. Silence every opposition. Silence every troubler. Enforce my new dawn. Enforce my new dawn. Oh heavens. Arise.
rise for me by the power of the blood of Jesus silence every opposition silence every troubler enforce my new dawn enforce my new dawn lekoshi torebo santere emprakle ke jesus enarota bekato lesute le credilata eraka gagalika tore tuzeze e supra likatoria de lekata resho prekleto zane kiketeria berado zagalaga raga daga 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 da e soto do le copre ketete la caraga de gozego la caraga da megerego dogo preke zege liga da enforce my new dawn oh heavens arise for me by the power of the blood of jesus silence every opposition silence every troubler enforce my new dawn leande le rush ezone kote prebidus ezoga laga ragada ezoga laga ragada raga laga daga ragada raga laga raga daga daga da raga laga daga raga daga da laga raga laga daga raga daga da zogo laga raga daga raga daga zuga daga da laga daga raga daga zogo logo raga da ela prepele tulata Jacques Pera da Gade, Jacques Pera da Gade, Era da Gada Soto Gobre da 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 da. Oh heavens, oh heavens, arise for me by the power of the blood of Jesus. Silence every opposition. Silence every opposition. Silence every troubler. Silence every opposition. Silence every troubler. Enforce my new dawn. Enforce my new dawn. In the name of Jesus. Je kote ko preketelia. Laboro shi kote ke preketelia. Le kete preketelia. Ze zona brekete so zilata. Le kota bagalege de. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Any evil visitor that will dare attack your open heaven this year, let the dagger of Oyereko smite them. Any evil man or woman that will dare to attack your open heaven this year, I command hailstones of destruction upon them. I command snares of God's vengeance upon their camp. I command horrible tempests to visit them. And I pray today, this night, let Holy Ghost go back and visit them. Whoever is hiding their identity, and they are attacking your open heaven. Let the angels with Koboko smite them. Whoever is networking with your adversaries. And they are attacking your open heaven. I invoke vengeance upon their head. Vengeance upon their camp. Vengeance upon their house. He said, I'm the one that opens it and no man can close. I stand on this altar of liberation, representing the grace of Oyedeko, representing the grace of Bishop Abioye, representing the grace of Bishop Aremo. I declare your heavens open. I declare your family heavens open. I declare your career heavens open. I declare your business heavens open. Your family will not suffer any closed door again. No door connected to your family blessing will be sought. Say amen like a believer. Any marital destiny that has been locked up by witchcraft, I unlock that destiny now in the name of Jesus. Say amen like a believer. I pray 
for you. Whatever force diverted your helpers away by the four winds of the spirit, I move them to locate you in the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Your wilderness season is over. The heaven will not be brass for you. The earth will not burn like oven against you. Say amen like a believer. And by the blood that speaketh better things. Whatever mysterious that mystify the closing of your heaven. By the blood of sprinkling and by the communion. That evil veil is swallowed up in the name of Jesus. It is done. As you partake of this communion, you enter into the reality of your new dawn. Your new dawn testimony. Your new dawn progress. Your new dawn prosperity. Your new dawn increase. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Your days of reproach, they are over. Your days of reproach, they are over. Your days of reproach, they are over. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Father, we thank you. This is your flesh and this is your blood. Let it answer with amazing testimony. In Jesus' name.